Ah, okay. There we go. We're live. Hey guys, Steve, Hillary, welcome back again, man. Welcome back to the channel. Wow, exciting games that we had yesterday and today. We can kick off by today's game. We can go back to yesterday's games later. But let's start first before we get to the heart throbbing one. Manchester City against Wolves. Hillary, let me let me go with you on this one. It started off quite badly, but you just you just know City, don't you? Well, <laughs> what's gonna happen? I feel like with City. I get excited and bored at the same time. Because <laughs> City know how to dominate the ball, but then it reaches a point where the passing just becomes too much. Like they were in Wolves' final third, and all they were doing is just passing the ball around. Like, can anyone get a shot? Try and, you know, make the keeper work for the ball and all that. Just look at the shot they had, the Guardiola shot. Very simple. Shoot the ball, try and see if the catch the keeper off good. You know, anytime you're passing around, you're giving the opponent, especially the low block teams. Mm. All they do is train on being a low block team. And you find it's 10 players behind the ball and you're just passing around the ball. Why doesn't anyone try to get in a cross, try and get in a shot? Like, yeah, it's all good. They'll dominate, they'll win the game, but then... Don't pass the ball until the last minute, then get a corner and, you know, win it last minute. It's all good. City got the three points, but then at least some action, a bit of action. I just wanted a bit of action. But it works, man. It works. It, does, they just, it's not, it never fails. They just keep re relentless. At least that's one thing I like about them. I mean, Steve, what's your take on it, man? man you see, they just, from start to finish, they just held your defence all day. Yeah, I, I, I feel like... Uh... Quite quite a uh, disappointing performance from uh, the quality we know Manchester City has, but I'll also give it uh, to the Wolves Hampton because uh, we know you know that they have the they have the the encouragement that they did it last time in the same ground, so you could see that they their game plan was working until it it stopped working because they 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 kind of look like they could they, they look like a threat to every time they caught Man City on the counter attack and uh, just that it, it didn't work out the way they planned but it worked out for the one goal they had and a few chances that I feel like they they, they really don't, didn't uh, hit the nail on the head like the <laughs> there's a run that I saw Cunha really <laughs> not being a peaceful player I think that was that that, that was so unfortunate for him but still um, I believe uh, I, 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 I gotta admit that on, on on some level, I, I agree with Hillary, and at some point, I also say that uh, I think there are a couple of shots that came uh, Jose Sars' way, and uh, from the way we saw him trying to give, he gave a couple of stops. Uh, from uh, if I if, if if my count is right, almost four or three that I saw people uh, the people from Manchester City tried to give a shot at him, and he he kind of. Uh, had it over, uh, all under control until <laughs> it didn't work anymore. So I think also to get those shots is really something that uh, is not easy when you see someone a team that is uh, trying to to defend and uh, and counter attack at the same time. So I gotta give it to Josa because he really kept the the boys in the game until the last minute that uh, they had to concede the second goal. Yeah, man. I mean, Manchester City, like you're saying, Hillary, man, they're irritating, man. But it's just Pep Guardiola and the City boys, man. They just, they just know what to do. They know, they don't panic. Last minute, thirty seconds, it doesn't matter. It's the same against Arsenal. You know, there's just no panic. It's like, guys, don't worry. We know, we know. We've been here many times before. You just keep going. You'll come. You know, and it's almost like even the way they celebrate at the end, you can see these guys. Like you don't, you don't think this is a team that's just won the title four years in a row. <laughs> it's like <laughs> they look like they're chasing it for the first time for like thirty years. <laughs> yeah, but then but this doesn't look like a ninety-point season. This looks like a very tricky season. But for them, for City, no, for no, for any team for trying to yeah. get to ninety points. That I agree. Yeah, but you know, but but I think, but I think these are the games that are hard for City. You know, like there's only one way you can play against City. You got to sit back for them. Like this is how you play City. If you City like playing the big boys, you know, the Liverpools and you know some of these guys or Man United or anyone, they like them because they like teams coming out and playing because they're like, oh, now, now you now come we can to our play, field. Now we can move on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, because even Wolves with that with that system that City had, like what Steve was saying, the through ball that Semedo had. 
I was counting on Semedo's yeah. pace to put the I ball know, through. man. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but then, that's, yeah. That's if you don't take those chances, because that's how they lose True. games, isn't it? It's when they it, just fire you. you. Yeah. yeah, you have to take chances. I remember those old games when Wolves did that to them with Traore. Yeah. Like, when you get chances against City, you have to take it. You have to take it, yeah. At those moments. But, yeah, I mean, they did the job. They rolled on. It's their usual, their usual, their usual way. But um, let's talk about... Um, but, but, Abdi, um, uh, but, but Abdi, I think, though, it's my point of view. Uh, at the same time, uh, I think I have to get this off my head because I think it's going to bother me all the way because in, in, into some... Into some uh, some level i felt like the officiating of the center referee he was quite uh it was quite uh reluctant to give uh fouls to fouls uh to 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 wolves unlike he was to city because i i felt a couple of of bumps that really didn't necessarily need city to take it because i saw him um uh, waving over man city's uh silly fouls and going too quick for the ones that had that uh, I'm going too fast for the one that uh, the the Wolves Hampton committed because we see that is what created the chance that made the the last minute couple of goals. So there was a kind kind of uh, an, a nag that, that that they had on the defense. Then the the counter attack that they made the, the last few corners. So I felt like uh, if he I felt like he wasn't really fair because yes, they were either small or big. I I thought it was so quick to give Man City uh, fouls and like he was giving. Against uh, Wolverhampton, that's that's my thought. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, to be honest, yeah. man, we're we're relying on referees to help us against City. Yeah. We have a long yeah. season ahead of us, man. <laughs> yeah. we, have a, we have a long season, but let's go on. Enough, enough. Pep Guardiola and City look, looking looking mm-hmm. to do five in a row. Okay, the later game uh, just finished. Um, Liverpool, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea were I actually was quite impressed with Chelsea. Like they they were a bit unlucky, but. I guess the two teams' difference is the defenses. You know, Liverpool were at home; they were quite. Def- they played quite defensive. Uh, I find it. I don't know about you, but they seemed like they were playing on a counter attack at home, which is a kind of surprise. I thought being at Anfield, they might come out, but you can see slot. Slot was, you know, a bit wary. He didn't. He didn't want to be known as the guy. You know, one of the big teams are coming in there, and now you get you get undone. But I mean, I still. It didn't impress me as I thought it might have, but. I still think these two teams, when you look at them, they were uh, kind of level on the match when you when you look at it. But do you see any of these boys challenging City? I do, but then the only issue I had with Liverpool today was why are you looking for penalties when you have clear chances on goal? Salah was looking for a penalty when he had left um, Colwell in, in the rear. Same thing with Curtis Jones. You're clear on goal. Why are you waiting for a penalty? Mm. Initially, strikers were lethal. Not even strikers. Players were lethal. You smell a chance on goal. You want to bury, finish it. Nowadays, you know, Salah waited for a few seconds for just a simple touch to go down. Why are we looking for penalties? Because we know VAR, any small contact, it's a penalty. It's taking out, attacking out of the game. Curtis Jones... I don't know. <laughs> and like you said, like like we said yesterday, Chelsea's defense is going to give you some chances. All you need to do is just take those chances. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I mean, I find um, I don't know about you for Steve, but I, but I was quite. I find that you know Liverpool can be got at. Uh, Chelsea were a little bit more, you know, sharp in their passing at the end, end of the other pitch. It would have been a, a different match, but but Liverpool they march on, man. They get their three points. They're home, and uh, you know who they're going to next. What's your suggestion? I mean, do you think uh, Liverpool can kick on from this? Your sound, Steve. Uh, sorry, I I believe that if this is the Liverpool, if this the kind of display that they they had to put against. A Chelsea team who have been uh, really impressive in the past few games, then I think uh, they shouldn't expect the same display from Arsenal in the next coming game. As, as much as we don't have uh, William Saliba, because uh, like just Hillary said, I support him in the fact that you when you because it's even he tried to get another penalty even before he got the real the actual penalty. You know, it just shows how how cowardice you are in nature in just going for it because you have the have the quality as a player to do 
better and you can beat the 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 the, the Chelsea de- defense. So I believe that it was a I was, I was expecting more of a of a draw from this match from the the the, the level of playing that was uh, was in the pitch today. But I still uh, think the, the home advantage came came as a as a surprise as a surprise to 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 Anslaught. And I think uh, we we spoke about the fact that coming into this game Liverpool uh, were going to get the real test of. Uh, what kind of players and coach they have this season and uh, i think i got a glimpse of what they are so far because yes at the moment they are top of the league and they they look like to be in the in petal race die will not dispute but if this is the level at which they will be playing against the top three teams which are arsenal man city and them then i think at, at some point they'll have to they'll have to, to to we will have to leave them behind at some point just just as we did uh, two seasons ago and the season that just left because that kind of agility is not going to last longer with yeah. the quality with the quality of Arsenal and Manchester City at the moment. That's what I feel. That's what I felt from the so-called test we thought they're going to have yeah. against Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if Saka's going to make it back in time for that. That's going to be also a big loss. Yeah. Uh, we know Saliba's out for that, but I think for Liverpool, that's that's going to be. I mean, the, the test for them going away to the Emirates, um, you know they're going to play counter-attack football there just by what you saw today at Anfield. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's three points. This this, this time of the season, you just, you know, for slots, starting off as a new manager, can't ask for a better start to the season, no matter how some people might, you know, nick and pick on them. You know, only conceded three goals so far in the season. He's not playing that high line that Klopp plays, clearly. He's got that defence more compact and sitting back, you know, keep keeping things in, in contention. And I guess that's why they look more solid defensively. You know, Konate has also, I think, stepped up a gear this season, as long as he keeps fit, because that would be one thing and they need to make sure that he stays. But from Chelsea's point of view, uh, how do we how do we see them? How do we see this game went for them? Chelsea tried. I think the good thing about Chelsea is we just need one chance. I think Jackson learned a lot from the criticism last season because now he just needs that one chance. I'm good on pace. I know if I get a one-on-one on goal, I'm going for it. And that's it. Um, You have Madweke and Neto on the wings who really are confident right now in taking their man on um, because that's why Neto came in. Sancho was a bit too scared on taking his man on. And when Neto came in, he exposed Alexander Arnold. And we know once you expose Alexander Arnold, then you've exposed a part of that defense. And so Chelsea, and I think the substitution for bringing in Lavia in the start of the game was also a good call because the Lavia Caicedo pivot worked um, for them well. Because I think the the centre back partnership for Chelsea hasn't really quite settled well because all of them are young, inexperienced. So having um, Lavia and Caicedo sit in the middle really protected them a lot. But 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 Neto as well. I mean, you forgot to mention Neto. Neto made a big difference coming on. Like he's I, I still don't know how he's not starting <laughs> personally. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how he's not getting into that team because when he comes on, he just looks a different league to whoever he substituted before. But, you know, Liverpool did their job. They got their points. Now, there was a particular conversation we were having yesterday. Sadly, we weren't able to upload that. But, you know, we can rehash it. Uh, I mean, we know yesterday Arsenal became the banter team. Uh, silly mistake by Saliba. That changed the game for them. And then Bournemouth went out there and did the job on them. <laughs> As everyone. I'm seeing everyone has been waiting for that. That's actually their first defeat away of 2024 in the Premier League for Arsenal. So that's not a bad bad stat to have. But Hillary, you were making a point yesterday, man. You I mean you were you were saying Arsenal are not a big big team, man. They got they don't have the yeah. big mentality. And I still stand on that because I haven't had until I hear what Ateta's expectations are, I don't know what to claim Arsenal as. Um, well, well in England, I said, this in is England, you're thing. one of the better clubs, but then when we want to say big team, yeah, what are you exactly going for? 
because I'm looking at it this way, when um, Liverpool was challenging for the title, they went all the way in all the cup competitions. Mm. But then you see Arsenal are like, uh, we'll get out of this cup competition. Well, not willingly, of course. But then at the end of the season, they're mostly out of all the cup competitions. Club, Arsenal don't have club. <laughs> to <laughs> focus club? on, yeah. And also big teams, look at it this way. Big teams can rotate their squads and are not affected as much. And that is why um, Ateta has been exposed this season, because he's had to rotate his squad because of injuries and red cards, and he's been exposed. Um, yesterday I saw you have Merino, Pate, and um, what's his name? Three uh, Declan Rice. They played three defensive midfielders yesterday. And four centre backs. And yeah, four yeah. centre backs. Yeah. Why? I mean, you have Jorginho. The reason why Jorginho was brought into Arsenal was because of his composure in the midfield. He can be able to dictate games and all that. That's something you'll be able to get from Declan Rice. At the end of the day, Declan Rice is English. And being English, he can progress with the ball, but then passing and dictating, especially when you don't have Odegaard, is very crucial. Mm. And so, because Ateta hasn't really shown that he wants to rotate his squad and you know, go all the way in all the competitions. What what is his expectation? What are the expectations of Arsenal fans this season? If you're going trophyless, does it matter, or is is the the Premier League the only competition that matters for you guys? Yes, Steve. Let me put yeah. that question to you. What's what's Arsenal's ambitions this season? Yeah. Uh, well, one thing I'll make clear for Arsenal is that uh. Let's let's give credit where it's due, yeah? Let's just be realistic with, with what it is. Ateta is among the, the youngest managers we have in Europe, or rather in the world right now, in the in the in the top leagues, yeah. Yes, he was under he was under the guidance of uh, Pep Guardiola for a couple of seasons. Let's look at how where he got Arsenal when he got to, he got to Arsenal. You, you you gotta give credit where it's due. Ateta came in twenty nineteen, taking uh, leadership in the Arsenal team. He finished eighth in that story. He, he finished. He finished eighth in that team. Yeah, mm. and that and that is after he took it. He took he took the team from Unai Emery halfway. Yeah, he finished eighth with fifty six points. Let's look at the next season. He finished another eighth season, the second season that he, he was now as a full manager with sixty one points. Then he came in twenty twenty one twenty two. He was fifth with sixty nine. Yes. Mm. Let's look. I'm, I'm just looking at the points he was getting at all that times and the position. Yes. Then he came to 2023 and 2024, sorry, 2022 and 2023, where he, he had he had 84 points and being second in that. And remember, this is during an era where Man City unstoppable, yeah, because no teams were stopping Man City at that point, yeah. And then lo- let's look at the past season, the one that he just finished, 89. And second again against another Manchester City, who are do who are what who are, yeah sorry, who are again a very good team. So, uh yes, he has a point of saying that we are not a great team, but I look at Teta as a person who's really he, he's he's owned he's owned a lot as a manager, and that is why we we don't see the 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 discussion of saying that Ateta out because that Ateta out was there before when he came. We remember me and me and you remember we had that hashtag all over Twitter. So I, I just believe, uh, yeah, we, we yes, a time change change take a, change take a, change take, takes time, and I have to be to say that from from, from all the stars of Mikel Ateta, there is no day he's lost a position, and there is no day he's lost points since he came to Arsenal. Yeah, he had the second number eight with. So eight, yeah. eight, he gained point five once. Number five, okay, he he still added points, and then again number twice. Number two, he's added points. So let me just say that he's he's been consistent in improving Arsenal the way it is, and being that this is his first job as a what as the manager of a team. So mm. let me not uh, discredit him, but you see, at, at also at some point, luck 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 can run out at some point, but. As it is, I think he's he's he's, uh, he's tried his best with Arsenal, and he's tried with Arsenal <laughs> in a prime Man City, in a prime Manchester City, which is not an easy job. It is not an easy job, Abdi. Oh, so I'll, I'll I'll just say we 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 we're doing good so far, so good because 
there are, there are a few bumps on the way, but still, so far so good. I think he's uh, he's, he's just got to give Arsenal uh, a trophy in the long run because the 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 patience might 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 run out of the out of the players what, out of the. That's that's, that's what Hillary wants to know. I mean, what trophy is it? I mean, we can get FA Cup and League Cup. But is that going to be enough to keep him in the team? It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough even for the players. But you see, uh, just for his record as a manager, he needs something. I'm just talking about him. For us, Arsenal, we want we want the cup, right? We've we've come we've come up, we've come out of a big turmoil. We've seen we've seen City. We've sorry we we have seen um, one of the best teams uh, ever uh, in the, in the decade. That is Chelsea. That is Manchester United. Manchester United and uh, and Tottenham. We've seen bringing managers in and out. And yet, they they're really not getting get, 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 got to 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 put something that is uh, really uh, solid. It's just because luck here, luck there. You see, and it's it's it's, it's been always that we want a cup, we want a cup. But I I believe in a process whereby we want to be stable. We want to be in a place where we we can win consecutive games like City have done. Because I'll just I'll just call them unstoppable at the moment. Because if you if you break a record for Premier Premier League titles in a row. <laughs> that 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 means you you've made you made you've, you've made yourself a, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll say like a franchise performance because now no you you're undisputed because in that in that era he's won them and he's also won important trophies like the Champions League so I would say we need something that is substantial and something I I I I, I want to have something from Arsenal something that is substantial something that is tangible at the end of all this uh, shenanigans and blabbering and banter we have coming in and out. As a team, I'm comfortable where we are. If other teams are not comfortable with what we're getting, then I think they should join Arsenal and start complaining that Arsenal are not doing good. Let them complain about their own team. Let us complain about our own team. Let me let me let me get let me get you in here, Hillary. Yeah? I mean when you look at Hillary, you know, most teams I mean no one has a right at the end of the day to win the Premier League title. Like you don't you don't do it. you earn it. And uh, where Arsenal were, it wasn't long ago when Arsenal fans were just complaining the fact that you know it's embarrassing that you know we just want to be competing. Now, I mean the least you can ask for any team or any manager is to compete for the title, you know, is to be up there challenging. That's the least who wins it, you know, it depends we know that in the season. But from his point of view, the last two years he can say, you know what, we've been the ones closest to them, we've been the one, you know taking them a step further. Um, we'll see what this season brings. But in terms of what where he took Arsenal to the last two seasons, I mean, I just think, you know, also it's all about Arsenal support. It's also bringing down the expectations a bit because it wasn't long ago where, you know, we were just crying for Champions League positions. Well, still my question remains, uh, is the Premier League the only relevant cup to you guys? And if so, how long until Arsenal win it? Because despite the fact that um, Pep has been dominating the league, Klopp took him to 99 points, 98 points. Uh, and he finally won the, the Premier League. Yeah. So now when do we start having that conversation with Arsenal? I think one thing I, I think I said, and I think I'm going to repeat again, we, the future is uncertain. We can we can only talk about the past. Yeah, yeah. We can. I cannot say that tomorrow I'm going to wake up with a thousand dollars in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, I have to put in the work to get a thousand dollars, and that means putting in work, getting to do extra hours and all that. So we cannot talk about the uncertainty. Tomorrow we cannot talk about the future. We can only talk about what has happened and what we expect. All right. We cannot say that we can and we cannot give it a timeline. You see, we cannot give it a timeline because there are a couple of stumbles that can get over. Can get on the way, yeah. You can you can try to win the league, like you see. We started with that with a team that we we thought is going to be fit until this moment, but you see we've been we've succumbed to injuries here and there. The same way a city started the league knowing that they're gonna have Kevin De Bruyne and Rodri, but you see things happen. So these are things that we cannot talk about until the end of the season. So that's why I'm saying at the moment we're gonna work with what we have and also refer to the to the past okay so so that we cannot repeat the same mistakes that we've done in the past but talking about how long will it take that honestly and uh, speaking out of uh, experience we just have to wait for the future and see what it has in store for us it, we just have to wait okay can i give a, so, can i give a view on my on my observation on why pep has been dominating and why arsenal and uh, liverpool found it difficult during that period uh -huh. yeah. 
if you look at Klopp when he started um, dom um, dominating as well, he had that high style pressure um, when he had Mane, Fabinho, Ronaldo, uh, Henderson, Salah, all of them were pressing high on top. And you had um, Alexander Arnold coming in with the crosses and all that. And it worked for two seasons, and the third season they won with that. But then eventually, when they were found out and they weren't able to replace the yeah. midfield and Firmino, especially then man. they had to drop off, right? But now with Pep, every season there's a style that there's a, there's a tactic that he changes. It, but it might be a minor tactic, but he changes something every season. He started with um, if you look at the defense, he started. If you look at the attack, he started with. And then he changed it to the midfielders. Now he changed it to having four center backs. And then he changed it to where the center backs can now play in the midfield, right? But now we have Ateta. Ateta is still playing Pep's football when Pep had um, Cancelo, when Pep <laughs> had um, Jesus and uh, David Silva and all that. But now Ateta has played that style for two seasons in a row. Mm. Now teams are figuring out Ateta's football. Has he yeah, tweaked it a bit? I don't think. I don't think. That, I don't think there's nothing to really figure out about Ateta and Arsenal. I just think no, that's a way of playing, which just you know they don't belt you like City. They don't. They don't want the possession domination. They do hit you when they need to hit you. Yeah. But then now the thing is, has uh, has Ateta tweaked his football a bit, or is the style the same? Is the tactic the same? Because now, if it's your third season and you're using the same tactic, then guess what? I'm going to learn why we were defeated last season and the other season mm. and change my tactics to just suit that game, that Arsenal game. But then with City, I can't really change my tactic from how we played last season because a different City is going to come to play against me. And that's why he's been able to win four seasons consecutively, because he's able to change. Um, for example, we knew that Kyle Walker, there was a point where Kyle Walker was the only player who wasn't irrepressible. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, irreplaceable. But then Rico Lewis came in. Rico Lewis came in right back. Now he's playing in the midfield. Yeah, but Guardiola so they, does, doesn't he? This is what Pep does. Like he, yeah, that's what he does. You see, the, that's what I'm saying. In the beginning of the season, he uses the begin the first half of the season to bring some players in. You know, the new, yeah. the new players into the system, and then when everything just starts rolling on and calming down, come February, yeah. the big boys start coming back more consistently and start playing, and then you know, it just things just start taking shape. But I also think that you know, uh, Arteta, Klopp, I think most managers like it's all about they need personnel. To do what they want to do as well, they need to have the really you see, he needs the right play, he needs certain players to do what he needs to do. He can't do it with anyone, you know. Whereas, like, you know, Pep Guardiola, you know, he can just he can manage anyone and tell them what to do. Like, you know, he you see a lot of these players, they just there's no one like shining like the way they do. I mean, apart from like you know, one or two players, it's like come the end of the season, it's not like Manchester City are dominating, dominating like individual award players, <laughs> you know? It's yeah, because yeah. They're, they're a team unit. You know, Guardiola has them playing away. That's why That's why you said, when you said at the beginning of the, the show, it's the way they play. It seems so, you know, everyone seems to be getting a little bit frustrated with it because it's so good and it's so organised. And, and like, you've seen it every season every week and none of these managers can figure out how to stop it <laughs> it's just like it doesn't matter huh? it's like it, just, it came from from spain to germany to england it's like no one you just you see it you know what's coming you know what's happening still and no that's why we need and that's why we need the next manager to come in and try and you know even if you're bringing your own style yeah you know, just bring a style that's yours, that's unique. And try and don't be comfortable with your style and, you know, wait for players. Because at the end of the day, the the, the football world is not making the same players anymore. I mean, look at but, my United. But, but honestly, yeah. uh, uh, Abdi, I think I have an issue with saying that uh, either, either, either Ateta is copying or not. I think 
it it all it all narrows down to is it working? Because we we if if you're copying someone and it's working, then why not do it? Because no, but you can't and, copy. You can't you can't, you can't copy Guardiola. There's no yeah exactly. That's what I'm saying. Copying or not, no. you cannot tell me that because I'm I'm I, I'm uh, my my tactics are working because it's somebody else's tactics. Because in the in the, in the end of the in, in the end of the 90 minutes, people want to see the three points. If you, no, even if you use where, even where if Arteta copied, where Arteta copied Guardiola is the defensive side of the system. Yeah, and of which I, I have no problem with someone copying because this is football. Copy, people I, watch. You can't copy the attacking because if you can copy the attacking side of thing, everyone will copy it then. <laughs> that's what yeah, makes yeah, it yeah, Yes, Abdi, and that's what I'm telling. And that's how, that's how I'm saying this here. Yeah? You see, when I hear Hillary, Hillary saying that Ateta is copying and it, it, it seems to have a problem with it, what's the problem with copying someone, somebody's, even if it's a, a, a simple tactic, let's say even set piece or anything, and it works? What's wrong with that? Because these football these people well, watch food. But, but it's not just Arteta. I mean, it's everyone. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah, because because these people watch the problem people watch of coping is if you don't have the players. They, they watch. The, they watch this video. Playing out from the back, playing out, like having goalkeepers yeah. that pass, none mm -hmm. of this spooking ball, playing out, uh, closing down at the front. You know, pushing back the defense and like, oh, it's just everyone's tried to do that, but it's not easy to do that. I mean, I think, I think when you look at the Premier League. If you take City uh, and Guardiola out of the equation, it will be an exciting season. <laughs> you know, I think it will be, I think anyone can go after anyone. You can't say, I think Liverpool, uh, uh, Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, even United, even bring Newcastle in there. When they all play each other, I don't think you can decisively say on that match, oh, this, these guys are going to win. You know what I mean? I think they can all go at each other and something can happen. But City, you just feel it. It's like you watch the games. Doesn't matter who they play, you su you always support the opposition. <laughs> that, that's that's a factor because you just want to see them drop points. That that's what everyone's looking at. You know, yeah. you're you're excited to see them drop points. But I just think you know we just have to you know take our hats off to Pep and what he's done in the Premier League and his achievements and it just keeps on going. It's just his playground right now. We're just we're just here to basically try to get something out of it if we can if maybe someone i think every team in the league right now that everyone's combined like in this friendship thing you know like chelsea arsenal liverpool and everyone everyone's like okay come on some someone's got to beat these guys someone's got to get tired at least <laughs> it's like let's dis let's disrupt this this is too much you know what i mean yeah. but you know they do these last minute you know take the three points and this is how they do the first half of the season. They play like this. They make everyone think like, oh, City look a little bit lackluster. Oh, no, City are not really doing it. You know, and everyone, commentators come out making all these funny noises. And the ones who do understand, understand. They say, no, I won't count City out of this. And then February comes, turn of the year, when everything comes back again, then they just look at the league and they tell you who who's next to us. Is someone above us? How many points are you above us? Oh, three or four? Okay. Okay, we're just going to let you know. How many games left this season? 18 games. Okay, just so you know, we're going to win the next 18 games. If you want to win the league, you best win the next 18 games as well. Uh -huh. And that's what they told Arsenal last season. And then Arsenal <laughs> made that mistake against Aston Villa. And that's where everything changed. You don't think so? You don't agree to that? No, I agree to it. Yeah. And uh, just to add to you guys' points, um... Also, tactics, you know, having the right players really helps with the tactics. Mm. And Arsenal need um, probably three or four players to help with the rotation, to help create some competition, to help give some rest. Because this season is going to be a season full of injuries. Yeah. And so that's what also helps Pep as well. He has players for different occasions. People were talking about Rodri is out, Rodri is out. Kovacic came in. He's playing well. He can bring in Matthias Nunes. Rico Lewis from the academy comes in as a fullback, but slots in well in the midfield. I don't think any team can do that. Um, which, um, which also reminds me of why Slot is playing very cautiously. Because he's realized I don't have a holding midfielder, but I have three very good number eight. Mm. So I can play I can play either Curtis Jones, Gravenbach as my two eights. I can play McAllister, Gravenbach as my two eights. So even Sobosly can come in and play eight. With Gravenbach, I have Endo. 
So right now he's being cautious because, but then he has players to rotate who can understand that system as well. And so with Arsenal, um, which is what affected United last year, last season is we didn't have enough players to rotate with our injuries. Yeah. You guys have good defensive midfielders. Arsenal have proper defensive midfielders. But when you need to get up uh, up in the pitch, then you need some good number eights or good number tens. Yeah, but the discipline um, has been the discipline this season has been a bit silly. I mean, um, three three red cards already. Like that's a bit, you know, you can't you can't continue like that and make silly mistakes like that, and especially at this level, because you know, uh, Liverpool won today, and this is Liverpool want to seriously compete for the title. They got to do this every week, and that's not going to be easy, you know. But anyway, let's go just before we leave. Uh, Steve. Yeah. So, what are we thinking? Are you are you changing your your predictions of your top four? Uh, anyone anyone beating City, or are we still just parked on City? Ah, uh, I, I I still think. Uh, what I'm sure of is that Chelsea are going to finish. Are going to are going to are going to switch places with uh, with uh, Liverpool because I I think if Chelsea are going to to keep on playing the way they're playing and I expect them to improve, then they're going to. To be in, on top of uh, on, on top of uh, Liverpool by the end of the day, but as an Arsenal fan, of course, I expect to be on the top. But it's going to be a difficult one. Succumbing to these injuries, it's been a difficult one for yeah. the team to adjust. So, still, Man City is the team to beat because we know the moment they 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 step on that pedal, the accelerator, yeah. they, they, never, they, they, they never let go on on that. that, that on pedal the, is coming in February. You know, you know, this yeah. is, we're back for three weeks, and it's, it's going to be internationals again three weeks later. So, yeah. so <laughs> it's like I, I just I, I just want them to 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 keep keep to keep their foot on the gas pedal. So uh, let's not give him pace like we did. Let's avoid uh, such defeats like the one we had uh, against Bournemouth. Let's avoid these silly red cards because you've seen we've got this. We need our, our players disciplined because. I, I, I'm, I'm disappointed that I, didn't, I, I, I forgot to mention the fact that we have always come down from a, a defeat, even during uh, even during uh, crying moments of the game. So mm. uh, I think someone the quality of Saliba, I think, is a person who could have just let go that that counter attack and let's see. And as, as, as so that we could have fought the the battle with the eleven men because there are things we just have to let go. I think it's uh, that is my point of view because I think such a <laughs> So such opening uh, open, opening minutes of the game, he could have just let us see what is it going to be because we'd rather come down from one nil defeat with our, with our complete men in the field other than doing such a mistake, making the team struggle. And and, and that is, not, we, we've seen how we, how poorly we play when, when we won man down. And the Premier League is not a, is not a, a field where you're supposed to play with one man down. We've only, we've seen these teams, they can really punish you when they get the chance. So, I just expect more discipline from the boys. I think Ateta should address that so much because just eight games in the eight games in the in the in the Premier League and we're already having three major mistakes that have cost us. Uh, if I that's a, that's almost that's seven points, yeah. So it's really it's, it's really not good. So we've lost seven points in the in the opening eight games. So that is really bad in, in games that we could have already won and or maybe have a better performance. So. I think uh, title, man. This is this, yeah. is this is how tough it's gonna be. Yeah. All right, then, man. That's a good talk, guys. I guess if you're available, we can come back this week. There's a Champions League games on this week, so we've got a lot of games with this new format to see how these guys are gonna be performing. But um, Thursday, if you guys are available Thursday, we can come back have a good chat again. Yeah. Sure. All right. Appreciate, it, guys. Have a good one. Thank you, you for joining. Too.